Hello world, it is J-Bob the Video Game Slob coming at you from the basement of terror, deep down below the earth in places unknown and slop unseen before by most humans, uh, with another pickup video, but uh, before we get into the pickup video, uh, let's get into a little Miller High Life so that we can uh, shake things up a little bit. Let's see how this tastes right now. All right, cool and refreshing. Let's do it. So, uh, I had some places to go today, so uh, I went out and did some things. And so I was up at the Detroit airport, and so I said, well, I'm up there. Let's hit up a Disc Traders that's really close and on my way back home. So I went ahead and grabbed, and I should have memorized what the name of these games were. Uh, but if you look down here, you can look them up by this. Um, I just saw a squirrel dude and his little companion. I have no idea what Chunsoft is, but uh, it had a cool name. It looks like it's pretty dirty and needs some work, but 50, or 50 cents, 99 cents. Um, it was a buck. I have a dude uh, that bought a Super Famicom from Japan. Um, so we can play these, and I thought I'd try it out. And it turned out this is like a turn based uh or maybe this one's the real time strategy game. Yeah, this is the real time strategy game, I think. Uh so probably not going to be playable um to be honest with you, but that's the fun of it is we spend a buck every time we see these games and we just pick them up and almost 99% turn out to be unplayable, but that's the fun in it. Um so this one is SquareSoft and I have the full square set on the Super Nintendo, so I'm kind of partial to picking up Square games that didn't come out in the United States. And this had eggs fighting each other, and it turns out this is the turn-based RPG game. Um, I can't pronounce it. I do know the name of this, I just can't say it. And so, um, the deal was here is that uh, this is like a spoof or a parody of Final Fantasy. So, pretty cool stuff. Again, 99 cents. Oh, there it is. Uh, see, it's... Uh, Henjaku? I don't I don't know anything about uh, <laughs> Japanese pronunciations. But there you go. I guess we could look on the back of this. This probably has the name of it. Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, see, it only gets cut off. But Mystery Dungeon. So uh, they sounded cool, but it didn't really work out. Speaking of 99 cent games, Pro Evolution Soccer 15. Um, it just seems like soccer games are always impossible to find when you're completing sets or runs. And so, for a dollar, it's like soccer games tend to be the most worth it sports games. And so, there we go. Receipt from that. That was Disc Traders. I did not find Disc Traders to be... Um, I, I'll probably tag Chase after the right price in this. Because I always watch him, and he loves all these Michigan stores like that. And I thought, man, I'll go in there and find some awesome stuff. Uh, you really do have to build up your points uh, from the sound of uh, what the people were telling me. Um, to get a good deal. They did have a Nintendo TV, and I tried to make a deal on that, but they wanted $800 for it, broken feet, um, no, um, how do you want to say them, like full down flaps were missing, no controller, no remote, and all the buttons were gone. So all it was was a metal post that you could grip and twist. And so $800 was a crazy number. So I tried to negotiate for a cash price, and they said that nobody in the store at that point had the ability to negotiate. So um, this is about the third NES TV I've seen. Uh, but $800 in that condition is not anything uh, I'd be looking to put in my collection. So uh, that ended up being a hard pass. Um, this is the remnants. I don't think I even got this on videotape. Um, of a four game lot I bought from a pawn store. So I bought Batman. Double Dragon 2, and the original Castlevania on the NES. So these are the NES games. And then I bought um, uh, Tales of Symphonia on the Wii. So I paid 20 bucks, tax included, for all of them. I sold the uh, three games that aren't here for 20 bucks. So I got to keep a free Batman. I thought this was a good buy for 5 bucks, but it turns out it's like a 6 to $8 game. So, sorry, Batman. I still think you're iconic, but uh, nobody else cares about you. So, I got a free game, though. Who cares? I already own it. But it'll go in the NES doubles uh, pile that I have that's way too big at this point. So, here's a little Black Friday shopping. Hopefully, you don't pay any money 
for Square Enix games because Square Enix undercuts themselves all the freaking time. They do 75% off sales, Black Friday sales, clearance sales, uh, I don't know, one to three times a year or something like that, it seems like, all too often. And so these are all sealed. They're still new for all intents and purposes. Uh, I didn't go backwards and grab any of their PS1 stuff. Usually I do grab some anthologies and some Chrono Crosses, but uh, the local game store was buying them all, and um, if I really need another one or some trade bait, that's fine. But we often go to conventions together, and so if he has it, there's no need for me to have it as well. And so I just picked up the stuff I didn't have. These were each $4.99 um, plus shipping. So I paid $17 for the three of them. So what is that? Five sixty-seven a piece or something like that. So um, I guess six bucks. Let's just say I paid six bucks a piece for these. So Dragon Quest Heroes Two. When this came out, man, there were so many people uh, spending fifty bucks on this game, and so I'm really glad I didn't do that. But I really do love the Dragon's Quest um, games. I have so many in the series. I can't even tell you, but I have nearly all of them, if not all of them. And so that was that. Another one that was so popular when it came out, and assume uh, I am anyway, that these are not reprints because it still it still says it's a day one edition. So I can't imagine they're reprinting day one editions. That seems unethical if true. But another reason, just don't buy Square because they make so much even on day one. That uh, when was this made? 2016. So three years later, they're still selling the initial launch of them. Uh, which is kind of total bullcrap, but uh, don't buy into the hype. Get it later for six bucks. I rented this one from the library actually a long time ago. Played it for a little bit, and I got lost in the mechanics. So uh, here's another Square Enix. Uh, as you can tell, uh, Taito got bought out by Square. So I can only assume that means we're going to see reprint NES games coming down the line anytime soon, right? But uh, I didn't have The Legend of Cage 2. And as you know, uh, DS games can be impossible uh, to find in their box. So a good opportunity to pick it up. Uh, again, these are probably reprints with the number of DS games that they sell and continue to sell. I'm assuming that these are all rebatches and that they're just still making them to this day. I don't know how it's possible, uh, but I'm guessing this isn't just new old stock sitting around. And so... Um, I had literally every other game from past sales on their site already sealed, and so I just wanted to pick these up. Again, five to six bucks, uh, depending on how you include the shipping, you know, um, something like that. Uh, I still think they're really good deals, and when it's Black Friday, I think most people should pick up the games that I didn't get, because I did them last year, and I resold them and made a, a decent amount of profit and got some free games out of it and that kind of thing. But uh, this year, I'm just I just ate the bullet. So, um, you know, I sold some things. I, I was up some money today, so that's always good. And I got free beer and some free games. Um, but I still got some more selling to do with the extras I picked up. And I still got some things like this going into the collection. And uh, I extraneously spent uh, $3 to pick up absolute trash. Uh, that makes no sense. So, uh, a good day for the PC. So, YouTube... Throw it in the pile. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.